speculated to have emerged from the sea. The first trolley was sighted in 1937. In its original form, it is almost unrecognizable. Over time, the species has undergone rapid evolution, splitting into a series of subspecies based on their respective environments. The species has also reproduced at an alarming rate, with many arguing the trolley has become a pest to urban life. Despite the common assumption that they reproduce sexually, trolleys are, in fact, genderless. Reproducing asexually. The species can now be seen in practically every part of the world, albeit referred to under a different name and in a somewhat different shape or form. Given their outstanding ability to regulate body temperature, it is no wonder trolleys have become renowned for having no natural habitat. Their tendency to inhabit strange places has led experts to conjecture as to the true capabilities of the species, perhaps having the potential to jump, climb, and even fly. The evolution of the trolley has not, however, been without human intervention. Given their obvious ability to carry goods, the species' abnormal bone structure has led to its ceaseless exploitation, becoming a tool for retailers to capitalize on increasingly excessive consumption behaviors. After being forced to carry groceries, trolleys are returned to an allocated bay, where a trolley wrangler ties them together and drags them back to captivity. So do you think what you're doing is cruel? Personally, I try not to think too much about it. I've got to put food on the table somehow. Monster, you should be ashamed! Come here, you little shit! Besides their obvious mistreatment as a means of carrying goods, trolleys have also been used as a method of transport. Their strenuous use has been a source of serious injury, typically involving their wheels. Once injured, they are, unfortunately, put down. Their relentless abuse has led to severe PTSD. The species now refuses to move when humans are in sight, fearing further harm. It is only with love and compassion that we will witness the species return to its mobile state. <laughs>